half of JWDF Beauty, and I'm here today to film a daily makeup tutorial. Enjoy! So first, I'm taking my simple cleansing wipes and removing all my makeup. So then I'm taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in Original, and I'm going to prime my eyes and around my eye area. So I'm doing that now. So then I'm taking my Too Faced Beaudoir eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the color Satin Sheets and I'm going to lightly dust it all over my lid. Finally, I'm taking Urban Decay's Naked 3 eyeshadow palette and I'll be using two colors from this palette. I'm starting with Nooner, and I'm going to lightly blend that into my crease just to give my eyes a little bit of depth. Next, I'm taking the lightest shade, and I'm just pressing that onto the very center of my lid to brighten my eyes a bit. Now for the eyelashes. I'm taking my Tweezerman eyelash curler and curling both my lashes since they're naturally straight. This is not a necessary step, but it's something I need to do. So now I'm taking my Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara, and I'm going to be starting with a small wand on my top lashes to make sure they're all coated. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry for the face I'm making right now. Another tip is to brush out your lashes between each coat of mascara to prevent clumping. Then finally, I'm taking the big end of the mascara and going over my lashes again. Still I call it magic. I'm going to take Wet n Wild's Mega Length Mascara and go over my bottom eyelashes. I find this mascara works best for my bottom eyelashes, so I go over and under them to make sure they're all coated. I know, another mascara, but now I'm taking Maybelline one by one and I'm going over my top eyelashes one more time and making sure that all parts of my eyelashes are covered, including the corners. The final step of my mascara routine is Benefits They're Real and I'm just taking this and going over only my bottom eyelashes to make sure they're very voluminous. And that's about it. Now I'm taking Urban Decay's 24-7 eyeliner in zero, and I'm just tight lining. Now for my face makeup. First, I take Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer, and I just prime my entire face before I apply any concealer or foundation. It's pretty basic, just blend it into your skin. is NYX's Wonder Pencil and I'm going to take this pencil and just go around my lips over any scars or acne I currently have. Next I'm taking MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer on an Ulta blending sponge and I'm just going to apply that concealer all over my problem areas of my face and blend it in. and this is for underneath my eyes to help brighten my face. I'm taking the concealer and applying it in a triangle motion to help brighten under my eyes more than any other motion. Now I'm gently gonna just pat it and rub it into my skin, but not swipe because otherwise you'll wipe off most of the product. Now time for foundation. I'm taking my Bare Minerals Original Foundation on an Equal Tools buffing brush and gently buffing it over my skin, making sure to set all of the concealer. Now time for the eyebrows. I'm going to take Maybelline's Define a Brow in I don't know what color, but I'm just going to gently fill in my brows with short wispy motions to help mimic the hair. My goal is to keep it looking natural. Call it magic. 
Last, for my eyebrows, I take Anastasia's Tinted Brow Gel and just go over my eyebrows and this helps set the color and what I just did to them. When I'm with you. Now I'm taking Tarte's Aqua Lilies palette and this was a limited edition last summer and I'm taking the bronzer in the right hand corner and just contouring my face very lightly. I don't want to do anything too dramatic also because my skin is very fair right now and bronzer and fair skin don't mix too well. Now I'm taking my Physicians Formula Happy Booster Blush in Natural and I'm just lightly dusting over the top of my cheekbone just to give me a little bit of color. Now finally for my face routine, I'm taking Benefit's High Beam and putting a couple dots on the top of my cheekbones and blending that into my skin to give me some dimension. This is also to help brighten my face and to just bring light to those areas. Now finally using a q-tip, I clean off any foundation that may have gotten onto my lips and apply my favorite chapstick, which is currently Soft Lips, the vanilla version. And here's the finished product. Uh, sorry for my awkward faces. <laughs> Oh, that was my daily makeup, and that's what I do usually every morning, unless I'm not feeling it. But I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye! It's Daryl, and I'm half of JW. Ah.